एवरीवन हाय वेलकम टू टूडेज लेक्चर ऑफ जेनित अकेडमी ऑनलाइन आई एम श्रविका जामनिक योर टीचर फॉर टुडे एंड टुगेदर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टुडे सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस सो लेट्स बिगिन डू यू हैव मास एंड ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस इफ येस देन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यू माई फ्रेंड मैटर and that is the definition of matter anything that has mass and occupies space is known as matter but everything we know is made of something smaller example your notebook is made of pages the pages are made from the bark of a tree a tree also has smaller particles in it that make it up the bark can be broken into such smaller parts that you can't even see it with your naked eyes and these small particles have certain arrangement based on this arrangement they can be classified into different states solid liquid and gas the simplest example to explain this is water you must have come across it so let's make this a question answer session the first state of matter is water in solid state what in solid state is right ice when we remove it out of the fridge what happens correct it melts and gets converted to liquid state that is water if we then start boiling it what happens we start seeing bubbles forming in the water and then we see a lot of water vapor or steam coming out of it steam is which state yes gaseous state correct now i want you to observe what is a common thing in all these changes what are we doing to bring about these changes I hope you are able to get it right. It's heat. Give heat or take away heat and the state of matter changes. Even in case of boiling, the state of matter is changed due to heat. The bubbles forming are actually water that has changed to gaseous state. If you notice, initially when the water starts boiling, the bubbles are noticed right where the water touches the pan. and then it rises this is because the heat is changing the water to the gaseous state let's learn about the states of matter now the three states of matter that we know are solid liquid and gas now i want you to think of these states as your friends solid is a very lazy friend who does not like to move gas on the other hand is very energetic gas likes to move all the time and liquid is neither very lazy nor very energetic now let's differentiate between them the first feature is packing of particles in case of solid the packing is tight the particles of solid do not like to move and do not have any space between them in case of liquid there is a little space between the particles so the packing is less tight in case of gas because the particles like to keep moving all the time the space between the particles is a lot the next feature is shape solids have a fixed shape unless they are beaten or broken down liquids do not have the same shape liquids will take the shape of the container and in case of gas the shape is not fixed gas loves to move around and will therefore move around and occupy all the space that is available it cannot be easily contained the last feature we are going to learn about is volume in case of solids and liquids the volume is fixed but in case of gas the volume is not fixed this is because the particles in gases are much further apart they can be squeezed closer together 
gases therefore can be compressed or expanded they do not have a fixed volume now let's learn about the change of state change of state is initiated by supply of heat or taking away of heat there are some processes that are responsible for these changes let's take a look at these processes as you can see when heat is taken away from gas or heat is released from gas it changes to liquid state and is called as condensation when heat is given to liquid like when liquid is boiled it changes to gaseous state and this is known as evaporation let's look at the definition evaporation is defined as the process of changing of liquid into a gas on heating in this case heat is supplied condensation is defined as the process of changing of gas into a liquid on cooling in this case heat is released freezing and melting are processes very similar to evaporation and condensation in case of melting the solid substance changes into liquid state this is because the heat is absorbed and in case of freezing the liquid state changes into solid state and in this case heat is released take a look at the picture and try to understand these processes now let's read the definitions melting is defined as the process of changing of a solid substance into the liquid state on heating freezing is defined as the process of changing of matter from a liquid state into a solid state on cooling heat is a form of energy think of it as an energy drink when heat energy is given to something the particles inside want to move here and there because they have so much energy and this is expansion when there is not much energy available the particles do not want to move they want to save as much energy as possible in fact they become smaller to save energy this is what expansion and contraction is when a substance is heated its particles start moving rapidly and occupy more space thus the substance expands and contraction occurs when a substance is cooled down a very good example of this is the wires we see on electric poles they expand in summers when there is a lot of heat and contract in winter when it gets cold therefore a lot of spare wire is always kept between the poles so that in case of contraction the wire doesn't stretch too much and break can you think of a few more examples of expansion and contraction please mention in the comments below if you like today's video please like share and subscribe See you soon.